Good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, October 24th. Um, it's a little later on in the day, in the morning. I think it's about around 11. Um, so I left my coat and the shades at my desk. <laughs> um, but yeah, weekend was fun. Took the kids. Um, well, it wasn't that fun, but it was interesting. Saturday was absolute crap weather. I mean, rained and just soggy and chilly. But uh took the kids to the Halloween store because my daughter's all about Halloween. I mean, I don't even have to tell her Halloween is coming. She's three and a half, loves Halloween, pumpkins, all that stuff. Ghosts, you know. She tells me, you better run after I scare her. <laughs> I was like, all right. Anyway, so I took them to the Halloween store and oh, it was just so, so much fun watching them. You know, they really set up the Halloween stores around here. So, well, in Jersey. And they had this thing with this huge pumpkin, and she loves pumpkins. And on the floor, it said, step here. So she went, I told her to step on it. <laughs> and at first, nothing happened. So I was like, oh, I guess maybe it's broken. But then that stupid pumpkin head shot up, you know, and making a, ah, ha, 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 you know. And she was like, ah! So she scared me because, you know, the way she reacted. But my son, he's two. He stood there and stared up that thing. This is him. He's looking at the pumpkin and he's just like. <laughs> he stared at it for like a good five minutes. He had his little car that he does not leave the house without in his hand. His lip dropped and he was just looking it up and down. Like, what, what's going, what, what is this? What is this? It was so funny. Um, and then she went, she wanted to go back there with all the horrible, you know, masks and stuff with the monsters. And so I was like, all right, you want to go back there? Let's go. And she got closer. She's like, no, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so, and of course, the little boy is just like, mouth open, car in hand, just staring around. So I had fun. We stayed in there for a good, like, 45 minutes. They were so in awe of all this stuff. Which I guess it's okay. I'd rather them not. I'd rather them not be afraid, you know, of these things. Because Mama still can't watch Jurassic Park without having nightmares. Well, the first time I watched it, I had a nightmare. I don't like horror movies. I have a very overactive imagination. I watched. Um, I think it was Darkness Falls, and it was like a story about the tooth fairy, and she was a witch, and you know, if you lost your tooth and you turned off the light, she would be hovering, hovering in the you know, in the darkness. But as soon as you turn on the light, she'd go away. So I slept with a flashlight for a month. Yep, not ashamed of it. Had my flashlight, clicked it on in the middle of the night, clicked it off, <laughs> clicked it on. I don't like horror movies. Who's with me? Who else is afraid of horror movies? <gasps> and I watch them too. Stupid me. I will watch them and torture myself for the next month. <sighs> oh well. But I'm glad they're not afraid yet. Anyway, so that was my weekend. Um, ordered a new dining room table. I'll probably show you guys uh, from Restoration Hardware. And I was running around trying to find chairs. You know, why is it that everyone, every chair, first of all, the chairs are more expensive than the dining room table. Um, Horchow which is a Neiman Marcus brand, had these beautiful chairs at $1,300 $1, each. And then they have the nerve to want to charge you $300 on top of that for shipping. Now, so I walked my little self around to the TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods until I found the chairs that I think are going to work and I'm going to upholster them and I'm, they're going to look exactly like, and I'm going to stain the legs and they're going to look exactly like the freaking $1,300 a chair and all the legs on these chairs are horrible they're all black and straight and boring and poof. um I ordered a gray um table so I had to find specific chairs and you would think gray it, it would be easy to find gray chair legs or just pretty gray chairs no not that easy so Marshall's and Home Goods and TJ Maxx actually they came through I bought two of the chairs so I've got to run around to a couple of more TJ Maxx and Marshalls um, to see if they have um, the other two, which I'm sure they will, because I went to, actually the TJ Maxx that I went to that I found one of the chairs that had three other ones. I picked out the nicer one. So I'm going to run to a couple of more of those stores and see if I can find um, the chairs. If not, I'll go back to the other one where they had three extra left. Um, and I'll just upholster them to my liking. And I upholstered a chair before. 
Um, I have a, a really nice guy who does great, a great job. He doesn't charge a lot at all. And the chair came out beautifully. So I'm really excited to uh, get my own custom chairs. <sighs> so that was my weekend. Um, yeah. How was your weekend? Hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, and let's get to the outfit. Uh, I am wearing the same email, the emails, earrings um, from last week. The skeleton key from Alex and Annie. And again, if um, I don't, if you can't understand what I'm saying, because sometimes I talk too fast, or if you can't hear where my jewelry from, jewelry is from, because sometimes I don't have the time to list everything and link the stuff below. Please ask me, and I will let you know where I um, got them. And um, hopefully you guys will be able to find them too. Um, this ear, the new piercing is like inflamed. So I'm starting to get the little dreaded bump. But I just packed some sea salt on there. And that should go away in a, a couple of days. Um, my little skeleton um, skull. Skeleton skull. What the hell? Skull <laughs> from Etsy. This was from a shop called Tiny Tiny Gold. And this is solid 10 karat gold and my stone and chain from Catbird NYC. Um, on the hands, my skull ring from Bing Bang and my lip ring from Veramit. This hand has my crown ring from Love Minimal at the bottom and the top is the diamond uh, ring from Etsy. The black diamond and the white diamond and this is my opal from um, Zoe Chico, which I bought from Bloomingdale's. And the bag is uh, my Sophie Hume bag. <clears throat> I want to do a what's in my bag today. Someone had asked me, um, so I might be able to film that today um, if I got some downtime at the office. If not, I'll do it some other time this week. And thank you for the request, by the way. It's a great bag, actually. Okay, I am wearing this dress from... Let me move you guys exactly the bit so I'm going into the file cabinet here. The dress is from J. Crew. Actually, I think this dress is from J. Crew Factory. It was at J. Crew at one point, and then I saw it and I missed out on it, and then I saw it in like a couple of months later in J. Crew Factory, and I was like, yay! But this is a couple of years old. It has little hearts. So whimsical. I love it. And then one of my favorite colors, navy blue. And the sweater. Ow. Why am I so close to this thing all of a sudden? It feels like I'm in my elbow. Um, this sweater, which I love, is from And Other Stories. Um, it zips on the side. I love these zip sweaters. It does, it flatters because if you have a tiny waist but a little bit of a pudge at the belly, it eliminates the pudge <laughs> slightly. So, and it shows, you know, you see, tiny waist shows the belly. It doesn't show the belly. So yeah. <clears throat> so that is the outfit today. Um, and for the shoes, I'm wearing my blue navy blue coat shoes and some navy blue tights. I'm so glad I actually ended up buying those navy blue coat shoes because they were on, where were they? eBay for the longest time. And the seller had them for like $99. And I, I have these shoes in like every color. And I got them from the coach store on sale. I got a pair from Bloomingdale's and then the rest from um, either the coach store or the coach factory, uh, the coach outlet for like 70 bucks. And I was being very cheap. I'm like, no, I'm not paying $99 for it when I... <sighs> anyway, I ended up getting them because, you know, they were navy blue. And I love these shoes. So I'm glad I bought them. Anyway, enough of my rambling, guys. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. Um, it is uh, Tuesday, October 25th. I am coatless again because I have been here since 7.30 in the morning. Off a night where I got maybe four hours sleep. Got up at 1.30. Couldn't go back to sleep until maybe 3.30. The little one wanted to sleep with me and he has all the room in the world on his side. But why does little dude want to nuzzle right up against my back, arm over my shoulder? <laughs> it's cute, you know, for the first five minutes. But then when you start getting a crick in your neck and you can't move, 
for fear of falling off the bed. Anyway, I'm here. I had a seminar, so I had to get in early, and it was so dark when I walked outside. I was like, if any clown pops up on me, they're going to get a surprise, because, you know what, just, no. Oh, it was so dark. I hate walking around, and, and I live in, like, Timbuktu, so it's a bunch of trees, so I'm walking, you know, looking around. This is how I walk in the dark. <laughs> walking in circles, so if there was a clown, he's probably like, this woman is nuts, I'm going to leave her alone. But really, I mean, you're not going to come up on me unawares. No. Um, so setting at the bus stop, it is like pitch black because Jersey does not believe in lights. Um, but I did get to see all the stars, which is very pretty. So I downloaded my little stargazer app and was staring up at the stars, you know, while looking around me <laughs> with my phone and then flashlighting the woods to make sure no weird animal comes out. Um, so I'm pretty sure the drivers that passed by thought I was a little nuts, but that's okay. I'm going to remain safe. Okay. But I did get to see um, a lot of the constellations, which was very fun. That's r way up my alley. It's really cool, that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, I am very corporate today because of this seminar. So I'm wearing stuff that's a little boring, so we'll get into that. Still with the Sophie Hume. And we'll probably have it for the rest of the week. Uh, jacket is from, I swear they moved somehow from these um, file cabinets because it seems like I'm being encroached upon. Jacket is J. Crew. Skirt is J. Crew. It's just a black wool pencil skirt. Black wool um, blazer. And the top is kind of cute. It's from H&M. It's like a neoprene peplum um, top. It goes all around. It's like short sleeves and it's really cold. So what is that? What, what is that? You know, these sleeves. Oh, no. Oh, excuse me. That's my camisole underneath. Um, so it's a cute top. The only annoying thing is it rides up, so I have to keep pulling it down. But, uh, yeah. And I'm just wearing it with my black patent leather coat shoes that have seen their day. But I, I don't want to get rid of them because I, I love them. So I think I'm going to pass them to the uh, cobbler and see what they could do to put some life into them. Wearing my Vera Meat donut necklace which keeps flipping on the plain side but I like the sprinkled side to show the sprinkles side to show but whatever it's cute same earrings didn't bother changing them I'll probably keep them for the rest of the week um, my Veramit Aries ring my little diamond Zoe Chico my opal Zoe Chico and that's it for jewelry now to the good part oh and the makeup I forgot to do that yesterday, but um, the lips is the same thing. Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. Mahogany Lip Liner by NYX. And um, one of the NYX Butter Glosses on top. Eyes are my Melt Stack with the Rust Stack, which I am trying to get to work for me. Not too bad. Um, yeah. And that's about it. Now to the fun part. got the Celine sunglasses. I know you guys are like, don't bother. I did order them before you guys said don't bother. <laughs> but I will show them to you, my jury of fashion peers. And if you say no, return them, I think I will. Fine. Don't, don't say that. I like them. Oh, I think they're different enough from the navy blue ones I have. You see the gold, right? It's different, right? Come on, guys. It's different. It's different. They're a little different. I forgot to bring the navy ones. Maybe tomorrow I'll bring them. Actually, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. So Thursday. If I remember, maybe I'll bring the Thursday, um, the navy blue ones in on Thursday to show you guys. It is different. Look at the gold etching. It's beautiful. But I shall defer to you. What do you guys think? Oh, I just love Celine sunglasses. The weight, the thickness. They're just so chic. Yes? Yes? No? What are we thinking? Are we thinking to keep them? Does that help? What are we thinking, guys? Let me know down below. Should I keep them? Are they different enough from my blue ones? I think they're fabulous. Anyway. <laughs> hey, let's see if I can give you guys the info. Um, in case you want to grab them yourself. Is this going to work? 
Can you see that? Hopefully you can see. But they're really nice. They are made in Italy. They're so thick and fabulous. <sighs> I don't know. I love them. And I think they're different from the, the blue ones. And you don't really want to wear the blue ones too much. You don't want to overdo it because then they start looking a little used. So if you have more than one pair, then you can out, you know, the life lasts longer and your money lasts longer. What do you think? I think, I think, I think that's, that's what you guys should consider um, for telling me to return them. Yes. Yes, I think so. So let me know. I'm horrible. And it just comes with, you know, your basic Celine um, case, which I actually like these cases a lot. Um, so, two, I have two of these cases now, which should bolster my case <laughs> in keeping these. So, you guys let me know. Anywho, uh, yeah, tomorrow I will not be here. Um, I'm gonna have a doctor's appointment and nothing fun. And my daughter has her picture day at her preschool. And I can't trust Grandma to do her hair properly because Grandma will have all sorts of pins and stuff. And though Grandma does a good job, but, you know, I got to make sure she looks extra cute tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys on a Thursday. Take care. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday, October 27th. Yes. Um, back at work. I was out yesterday, um, and it's raining today. Boo. Although we need the rain and it's a little chilly, so hence the wool coat. <laughs> um, but uh, let's get straight into the outfit because I have something good to show you guys. Um, first, we'll start with the makeup. I'm wearing Jeffree Star's Androgyny. And on the eyes, I'm wearing um, a Anastasia Beverly Hills um, single shadow with, well, single shadows <laughs> with um, the Naked Basics 2 palette. Which I actually like that palette. I like the the, the Naked Basics too. I love the um, the formula of the eyeshadows. Not really. Care. I have also the Naked One and Three. I'm really not feeling their uh, feeling those palettes that much, but I work with them. Um, earrings are the same as this whole week. Nothing new there. Um, no necklace. One my little ring from Etsy. Little gold band. And my Tiffany ring, I think it was the Gate Link ring, and my Zoe Chico opal ring, and my Michelle watch. Thing. Um, the home bag. This will go back up in my closet for a while. I've been wearing it for longer than I like to consecutively. Um, it's just very easy to scratch. So um, this coat from Coach. Uh, with the hood. I love it. Um, kind of doing an all gray thing today. This sweater from, um, where is this from? French Connection via Bloomingdale's. Um, and I was like, Bloomingdale's only had this color. And I was like, why? It's a cashmere blend, really soft. It was 128. I got it on sale at Bloomingdale's, though I think I paid 90 bucks for it. And I was like, why don't they have this in other colors? This sweater is perfect. So, put in the name of the sweater, and lo and behold, the French Connection website had it in black. So, straight away, I ordered it in black. I love the high slits. I love sweaters. Diff I like different kinds of sweaters, and I just noticed this morning that it has, um, like on the sleeve, it has like a, um, a dip I love I just love sweaters that are different and for me sometimes it's so hard for me to find sweaters that I actually like the dress is from um, Zara it's just their basic $19 um, and their basics uh, dove gray tights dove gray sweater tights and if anyone can find me a pair of dove gray sweater tights please let me know no one sells this color anymore and I think I got this from forever 21 like eight years ago Seriously, I wear them like twice a season because I cannot find this color dove gray tights. So if anyone can find these for me, please let me know. These shoes are my absolute favorite shoes. These are my Calvin Klein 
I forget off the top of my head what they're called now, but I actually ordered these years ago. Thought I was ordering the black pair, got these, so happy. Love these shoes. I've had them into the shoe person numerous times. They need a little bit of help um, in the front, but love them. They're so comfy. The color, no one makes shoes this color. This dove gray color is the best. I don't get it. So let me know if you guys see them, uh, the tights anywhere, if you've seen them in this color. I would be so grateful. Now to the fun part. I finally got it. I've just received it. I haven't opened it yet. I just kind of took the scissor and went around the corner of the box because no one has time to be watching me. So, you and I are going to open it together. So, comes in a white box. Uh, oh, okay. She sends you a card, a thank you card. On the back it says, fashion is what you buy, style is what you do with it. Uh, L&M. Another card. Make sure to tag us in your next photo. Very nice. Okay. You had another card. I wonder how much it costs to make these cards, because, okay. Another card. With my pound necklace. Which is, I think, restocked, by the way, if you guys are looking for it. The order. Um, the invoice. And then it looks like this. Very professional with the sticker and opening it up oops I thought I was supposed to get a water bottle over a hundred dollars purchase oh well big box tiny bag so nothing else in there and now for a piece de resistance All right, let's see. Let's see. And there it is. And I hope it fits. It has my initials on it. Oh, I'm going to have it upside down. Very pretty. Cool. Hmm. It's got, I don't know if that's... It's got a little bit of scratches on there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. You probably won't see the scratches like I don't know if that's while they were trying to make it or etch it it's like a little bit of scratches on there but it's nice it's with the pink I, I got mine with the pink engraving and I believe the Edwardian script does it fit and it fits it's a little looser I should have got a four hmm I should have got a four I ordered a four and a half I'm gonna <laughs> Make sure it doesn't fly off. It's a little loose. Um, I'm going to have to see what I can do about that. But it's pretty. Very pretty. So I will do... I have a couple of her pieces. And I will do... Um, I wish you could see the pink engraving. This light is horrible. Can you see that? It's very faint, but it's very different. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty light. Um, I'll have to wear it for a while. I'm going to see if I can get those scratches out of it. Or if it's just... I'll have to see. But it's pretty. Very nice. So if any of you are uh, thinking of getting it, I think it's pretty. And it's not actually for the price. Because, again, um, I've seen this signet ring in gold and other websites, and the prices are ridiculous. So, I believe this is 3.30 something. It's pretty. And I just like the pink engraving. I thought that was different. Make sure from far away you really can't tell. Well, yes, you can. You can. I like it. I'm going to have to polish it up a little bit, because I think... I will reserve comment until I've worn it for a while. And then I will do a video on all the pieces that I have from her. Um, yeah. So, I am com overall, I am really happy with it. I wish I would have got a four. Ugh. 
And this is my bigger hand, and this is the finger I'm going to wear it on. I should, well, I'm going to see what I can do about, because I don't really feel too safe with this. Um, I'm going to have to really watch it. I should have got a four. But nice pinky ring. And I am glad I ordered it. So I shall reserve full comment until I have worn it for a while. And then, like I said, I will do a video of review on all her pieces. Because no one, uh, no one on YouTube has done a review on this ring. Or on the pal necklace that I have, really. Or any of them. Or even the the Ella, the um the cigar band the ring I have so I will be doing a review on this um soon because I think she has um like for Black Friday she usually has like a sale like a 10% off so if you guys wanting or wanting to order it I will um get that up for you guys um overall I do like her jewelry um and I will I will purchase from her again I do she has a ring another ring that I want to get um there's two actually two rings I'm thinking of getting from her um so I don't mind giving YouTubers my money if their products are great. So overall, I like it. Very different with the pink lettering. I don't know how much of you guys can see the pink lettering, but it's there. So that's about it, guys, for this week. Um, I didn't bother bringing in the two Celine shades because it's it's not sunny out. So maybe next week I will show you the difference between the two. But I think I'm going to keep the black shades. I think we all knew that. I will catch you next week. Hope you have a great weekend. I will talk to you later. Take care.